Hello YouTube. This is Kat from On the Balcony with Kat and I'm actually out at Heritage Park today with a friend of mine doing kind of a walk around and um, looking at plants and whatnot and this is one that has made me curious for a while. I don't know what it is but it certainly draws the bees in quite a bit. But it has lovely kind of lavendery purple flowers and these long thin needle-like seed pods that when they get dried out enough split curl and release millions of these tiny little down like seeds everywhere and this thing is pretty tall too these are these are tall plants but they're off in the bushes here out in the back trail as I get some of the seeds floating in my face but they go all the way down along the path so I'm kind of curious. I don't know what these are, but if anybody knows, give me a give me a shout out and let me know what this plant is because it's really kind of cool. And it's quite the pollinator as far as drawing bees and other insects. So I'll probably uh, film a few other things here and there and show you guys. I'm be curious about that one. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, here's another one. Another interesting flower plant. It has these beautiful, beautiful big yellow blossoms when they open. These are sadly all, all pretty much wilted and ready to close and die. But these are the flower pods. They open up and release these beautiful yellow flowers. So then after the flowers are gone, they leave these little seed pods behind. But I don't know what this is. It's another one I'm curious about. So if anybody knows what this lovely flower is, Please, feel free to let me know. And sorry about the shaky handwork. You know, no tripod today because I'm walking through the park with my friend. This is a hazelnut tree. There are a lot of them that grow here in Heritage Park. Which is a really nice little park. But uh, I'm on the back trails at the moment of Heritage Park. Um, I believe they start blooming now. And the hazelnuts are actually ready in winter or late fall early winter usually the squirrels get most of them but my mate and I are actually going to try and get in here this year and harvest some of them before they're all gone we're trying to do a lot more wild foraging and the area back here is left to grow wild so no pesticides no herbicides they do come back in occasionally and trim it back but that's about all they do the trail is lined with cut trees and mulched with sorry about you know making you dizzy here with the spin about and mulched with uh, wood chips so yep this I don't know absolutely for certain my husband my loving mate that he is thinks that this is a wild huckleberry and um, it's got pretty little pinkish red berries. I don't know if you can see them. Pretty little pinkish red berries all over it. They're just starting to come ripe. But we have these bushes. Well, I shouldn't say we because I don't own this park. I just like to come here. But uh, Heritage Park has these all over the place. So again, if these are indeed wild huckleberries, then this is another possible wild forage food type item. So if anyone can confirm that these are indeed wild huckleberries, greatly appreciated. They have some unusual and unique stems. Okay, this is another plant that I want to know what it is. It looks familiar, but I don't know. The leaves are interesting. They grow, grow five to a stem, five or more to a stem, long stem, and then they have these things that are kind of sticky at the ends. But it's a small tree or a shrub it's currently about, oh, eight to ten feet tall. 
but I'm really curious what it is. I do not know. So if anybody knows what this is, please let me know, because I really like it. It's interesting. Well, I decided to harvest my Yukon gold potatoes just to, you know, clean out the grow bin that they were in because, well, I wanted to use that grow bin for something else because it was the only self-watering grow bin I had that I had set up as a air pruner. And, well, the Yukon gold potatoes had been in there for well over 100 days, and I'd heard that 100 days was good enough to um, harvest potatoes. <laughs> well, I dumped out the sack, and this is what I found. Yep, this is the extent of my Yukon gold potato harvest. Three tiny, and I do mean tiny, little potato buds. And, truthfully, when I was going through the soil, I was kind of like, are these even potatoes? Wasn't sure, but yeah, no, this is this is all I got. Three teeny tiny, not even an inch long, not even an inch big potatoes. Looks like all of the um, potato starts I had in there, but pretty much but one, um, rotted and just turned into soil. Uh, one of the two plants, I'm assuming, well, actually, it might have been both of them, but, um, well, yeah, I had two in there that actually were growing, so the extent of that growth is this. Looks almost like a little face there. Two eyes and a nose. So, um, yeah, not what I was expecting at all. Not at all. <laughs> 